What's new from Jordan? Is Crazy Kanye's presidential run hurting the Yeezy brand? And what the hell was Reebok thinking with that new collab? I have all of those answers and a whole lot more on this episode of The Flip. Hey, coming to you from an empty ass complex office in an empty ass Times Square. I'm Rax Hogan, AKA the Stylish Stoner, AKA your kid's favorite role model, AKA I am not a reseller. And we're gonna kick things off with question of the week. All right, now, today's question of the week comes from you. And you're asking, what is a flip and why should I take this dude's advice? Well, first of all, that's two questions, not one, but I'm gonna let it slide. So, first question, what's a flip? It's when you take something at MSRP and then selling it for above value over MSRP to, you know, create a flip in profits. So, why should you take my advice? Y'all know the deal. Y'all know why I'm sitting at this table. Y'all know why I'm in front of this camera. I've been on the scene for over nine years on the resale market and no, I'm not a reseller, but I might be a reseller. And a lot of my friends is resellers. So, with that being said, the best way for me to show you that is to get into this week's releases. <laughs> Now, this week's first big drop is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Azriel. Now, if you want my opinion, I'm not a big fan of the Yeezy brand, especially with all that political crap that's going on right now. But it doesn't seem to be affecting this brand in the slightest because the sneakers are definitely still going for over MSRP. You can see these going up for around 325 to 400, depending on size, which is a big factor, especially when you're buying sneakers that are resellable. Just because you get the product doesn't mean that it was a coveted size. You might have to sit on it a little bit longer to get it gone. Now, moving right along, we got the Air Jordan number four, PSG. I'm actually a fan of this one. It reminds me of the Fire Red 4 Retro that comes out from time to time. Now, if you want my honest opinion on that, this shoe, it retails for $225, which isn't that hard on your pockets and it can be a really easy, you know, moving piece. So, on that one, I'm gonna say that's a safe bet on investing you know, the 225, because I see prices already right now at around 400, and it could probably go up to 500, depending on the size. And another thing, FOMO is your friend, because most people fear missing out. They think that the shoe is gonna sell out immediately, so they will be willing to spend more money when the shoe drops, rather than waiting when they see how the numbers do or try to get it at a discount. So FOMO is your friend. When the shoe drops, don't be afraid to put that price up sky high and negotiate a little bit lower to get the price that you want. Now, moving right along. The Reebok Minions Instapump Fury. Now, I am a fan of the Instapump Fury model. I own two of them personally myself. I am not a fan of this collaboration between Reebok and Minions, and let me tell you why. Because it has been done in the past. TV shows, movies, they like to mash up, collaborate, and make a sneaker. Not against it in the slightest. Stranger Things did it with Nike. Reebok actually did it with Aliens a couple years back. But me, personally, this shoe right here is going double ass in these streets, and you wanna stay away from it. The reason why is because I don't see it actually going up, no. I actually seeing it just staying even or even going down. Yes, that's right. Sneakers can be sold for under retail. That happens when the hype is placed on an item. People think that it's going to go, you know, crazy, stupid nay nay in the streets. And then they see that it does what we call a flop, a belly flop. It falls flat on its face. It goes double ass in the streets. So those people are stuck with those shoes. They spent their money. They want to get it back. You probably, if you really like the shoe, I say you wait until after the drop and then see what prices is looking like maybe two or three weeks. Those people that bought the shoes thinking that they was gonna flip, the novices, the rookies, the beginners, the people that just didn't know no better, they bought into it, they thought they was gonna make some money and they're not. But if you're still not on board with this resale game that I'm dropping and you ain't picking it up, let me go in and we'll do a little story time where I tell you about my most lucrative flip in this game. My homie bought a sneaker at a convention for 200 bucks. Uh, Later that night, he sold it for $10,000 to an overseas buyer, and the buyer paid for shipping, so he totally profited $9,800. Now, you probably like, Rex, how can that type of ish happen to me? Well, it's about being at the right place, at the right time, and having the right knowledge. If you watch this show, you can pick up on, you know, the right knowledge. Uh, stay tuned. I'm your host, Rex Hogan. We'll see you next time here on The Flip. I'm out!